Sugar, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on the great game. You went 10 for 10 from the line, and um, you appeared to have a lot of energy in your game today. Uh, did you expect to shoot as great as you did the whole entire game? I expect to shoot great every night. Yeah, there you don't go. think no less. I don't think hey. no less of myself. So, yeah. What contributed to such a huge performance tonight? Defender, rebound, sharing the ball, and just having fun. Um, I just want to, she's being real modest, I just want you guys to know, um, Sugar's in the gym 24-7. We have practice, she comes back there that night. She gets Teresa's weather spoon to help her work out. You know, she never let up, she's never complacent, she just wants to keep getting better. Um, I played against her in the Big East when she was in Georgetown, I was at UConn, and I knew she was very special. I'm happy that, that we have her with us, and this is just God working and everything going in her favor right now, so I'm, I'm really proud of her. She knows how what she means to this team, and sometimes you just got to waste your turn. You know, and she's definitely turning the corner for us right now. Tina, what does it mean to get this win tonight to the team? Um, it, mean, it means everything for us. You know, we work so hard, you know, all season long, just uh, trying to be in tune with the process of winning, doing the little details, all the little things. You know, coming down the stretch, I'm happy we, we, we got the win because, you know, we learned from game one, you know, about switching out and doing little things like that. What did it make you for the fans to be so in the guys tonight? To um, it was great. You know, we're looking for the same thing tomorrow night. You know, I, I've, I've been a part of of this, it's a little bit of history repeating. You know, I was here when I was watching Teresa Weatherspoon play and, and Becky Hammond, and I remember when Kathy Pondexter made a shot over Tammy Sutton Brown um, in game two, you know, when they played against Indiana a couple of years ago in 2010. And just the atmosphere, and I just knew, like, I had to get to New York. I wanted to play here in this garden with this atmosphere, so um, it's great, always. Tina, um, uh, on, in uh, D.C., um, when you were asked by the reporter um, about the game, you said, I play this game like it's going to be my last. Was that the same feeling you had today? Yeah, that was in my mindset all the time. You know, um, um, one of the biggest uh, motivation for me is that how much I love these girls and I love this team, and you know, I don't, I don't want this to end. You know, we're gonna go our separate ways at some point, and I just you know, didn't want it to end. You know, I want to drag this out as long as I can. And you know, when I wasn't making shots in the first half, I just kept thinking, like, Tina, just keep having confidence, keep shooting. Your team needs you, and that's what I kept doing. Sure, I'm sure someone asked you, can you just talk about ten for ten from the line, from the free throw line? Uh, and uh, you're 20 points today. Um, I practice that all, all the time in the situation. Though, so I just got in there and knocked the shots down. I'm just having fun. I'm just living in the moment. Well, your team hasn't always been the best free throw shooting team. And tonight, everything is up. Yeah. yeah, we just have confidence in, us, in ourselves. You know, we, we know we're not the best free throw shooting team, but when it counts, we can make it. And I'm glad we did it tonight. Sugar, you know, to see the game clinched on a defensive play and, and one from Kia like that, do you think there's something symbolic almost about, you know, the identity of your entire team and you know, the way you guys have thrived defensively all season? Yeah, it's just all about responding. You know, when we come into halftime, you know, Tanisha and Swin are always talking to us about little things that we have to clean up and what to do. And, you know, what, what Kia was able to do, she just responded. You know, sometimes you have to grow up fast. You know, we never knew that we wouldn't have Carolyn Swartz. You know, it's unfortunate, but it forced Avery to have to step in and be a part of the moment. You know, it forced Kia to, you know, she can't hold her head. You know, nobody else is going to do it for her. You know, she, she's a pro now, so, so I'm happy for her and just the rest of this team. Everybody's just responding at the right time. Sure. Uh, you, you've got, you've got a game tomorrow, but have you not won uh, this game in advance? Would you consider this like a lost season because there's so much on the line. Uh, or would you consider this, the season sort of lost? Um, had you not won, had you not advanced? Um, I would see that as a loss. Definitely disappointing because, you know, we worked so hard, we scouted so well and everything. But other than that, it wouldn't have been a loss. You know, we all gained new friendships. We all gained maturity as a person and as a player. But, you know, we didn't lose, so I don't want to talk too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> so how, 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 how do you feel? How important is it to, to advance and to, to play tomorrow here in, here in New York in the Garden? It's great, you know, it's bittersweet, you know, you know, personally for me, I just played 40 minutes, but, you know, being born and raised in New York, um, nothing is easy, nothing really goes your way, you know, so, of course, this isn't, you know, surprise to me that we have to play tomorrow, it's New York, things like this happens, and you just got to respond. Playing the 40 minutes today, does a rest factor bother you at all? No, my adrenaline's going to be gone, you know, in, in 2012, Indiana took it away from me, you know, wanted to advance, so my adrenaline's going to be going um, just for the game. Sugar, what was it like having the entire garden support behind you, and how did that motivate you to keep going? Say that again. How, what was it like to have the entire fan base behind you and really cheering you guys on? Like, how did that help you guys towards? Um, it feels through? good that the, the fans come out and support us. So. Like I said, I'm just living in the moment. I'm just enjoying the ride. Sugar, can you talk about the plays down the stretch? Obviously, you hit some big shots, but a big steal, assist. 
you know, layup, just what was that moment like? We're talking about living in the moment. Unbelievable. I mean, I practice every night. Uh, I practice every morning. So those are the things I expect to do when I get out on the court. Sure, to find the uh, minute five to go on the offense for that. What does that say about her growth as an offensive player? And would you have the confidence to find her in that spot, let's say, earlier in the season? Uh -huh. I'm going to find Kira Goff, uh, Tina on the block. I have confidence in all the girls. It don't matter, Avery, anybody who's down there, if they open, I'm going to get them the ball. Tina, when you came here, the nights like this, what you were thinking about, I mean, 10,000 screaming fans cheering for you guys here in the city. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. You know, I want to bring New, New York a championship, and we're getting closer day by day. Um, again, you know, like I said, history repeating. You know, I grew up watching Spoon and Becky Hammond, Sue Wicks. You know, um, all of them in this kind of environment, this atmosphere when I was playing against LA in the finals, things like that. So um, the fact that it's now me on the court, you know, hopefully I'm able to get the job done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.